What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yeah, today was the day from hell, but I came out on top. I came out victorious and I kicked my anxieties. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you the three very simple steps that I took to do this. And I wasn't even going to make a video today because I've been so overwhelmed, but because of my success, I was like, you know what, Chris, it would be selfish of you if you didn't sit down and make a quick video and discuss how you overcame your anxiety. So speaking of selfishness, make sure that after after you're done with this video, you share it with a bunch of other people so they can start working on their anxiety too, all right? But let's get rolling. So to give you some context, like this morning, if any of you follow me on Instagram, I documented like I was feeling overwhelmed, just like I was drowning because I have so much stuff going on. I've taken on new responsibilities at work, so I'm doing a lot of new things. I'm learning a lot of new things. And then also I'm about to go meet my girlfriend's family, which I'm not too anxious about that, but it's a lot of preparation to go on this trip. But anyways, thank you for noticing. I did get a haircut and a beard trim. But anyways, all this stuff was just overwhelming overwhelming me. So the first thing I did, step number one, like on the way to work, I my head was just all over the place, right? I just had everything just hitting me all at once. And when, I, when I'm anxious, just a million thoughts are there all at once and none of it's organized. So as soon as I got to work, I pulled into my parking stall and I pulled out my phone and I went to um, my Google Calendar app. And I took every single thought and thing that I had to do that was overwhelming me and I organized it. The first step in this was organizing all of these things I had to do. And I made this list, okay? I broke it down in 30 minute increments and I kind of like moved them around like what needed priority, what can wait till later and all sorts of stuff. And this was the best first step because it took all that chaos and it put it down on paper so I can visually see it, right? Now, I've had some people tell me that lists are overwhelming, but it is the first step in the process, okay? I get to my desk, I'm still kind of freaking out. So step number two, and I just made a video on this yesterday, meditation. And today, the Calm app saved my life. So I've done other videos about the Calm app, I'll put some in the info card above, but, when I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed, I have a brain that tells me, Chris, you cannot meditate right now. There are too many things to do, you can't do it. But because I have to keep this thing on straight in order to do my job and be a productive person, like I have to take time for my mental health. So I got in and I sat down on my desk and on the app, there is a button that says emergency calm. So I knew I could, I had at least five minutes and before I had to get rolling, so I did a five Five minute meditation. I sat there and I brought awareness to the situation. And don't get me wrong, it was hard. Like the biggest excuse I hear from people is like, I can't stop my thoughts. I get it. My thoughts were still in a million different places. It was like, Chris, you can't be sitting here right now. You gotta send that email. You gotta call that person, follow up with these people, let's start on this project. But during that time, every time I noticed a thought, I just brought it back to what the meditation was telling me. And I opened up my eyes and I had this sense of like, ah, right? Now I'm ready to tackle uh, task number one, but that doesn't last very long, okay? So it started building up again, building up again as I'm checking things off the list. So at lunch, when I got back to my desk, I got back a little early, I took another five minutes, okay? And I sat down and I did an anxiety meditation, did the same thing, and I opened my eyes and I was good. I was good for a while. The thing about my job is too, that it gets very hectic. So as I'm crossing things off my list, more things are piling on. Some of you know what I'm talking about. So in the afternoon, I did one more five minute meditation, right? As I'm getting ready to leave work today, like I, I just noticed, I noticed how great I was feeling. And that's step three, celebrate. Celebrate your victory, okay? Like to give you some neuroscience behind this, when we bring attention to the fact that our anxiety has calmed down, it helps to rewire our brain for the next time. It stores that memory in a part of our brain called the hippocampus, okay? So the next time anxiety comes, it says, hey, you know what? Chill out, we've been through this before, here's what you did, here's how we'll get through it again. So I brought awareness to the fact that I felt great, that between the morning and the afternoon, I was 
a complete 180. So that's step three, is celebrate the fact that your anxiety has calmed down, all right? So anyways, this is three really, really easy things that you can do, anybody can do it. So like I said, please go out and share this video on social media, help some people learn how to manage their anxiety a little bit more, all right? But anyways, I gotta go play video games with my son. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, click that round subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. And if you got a minute, click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. Check out some other content on my channel, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Get your anxiety in check today and kick it, and I'll see you next time.